Hi, America, call my phone, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be vlogging. Uh, so, I am in Copenhagen right now, and I'm going to be going to a Eurovision semifinal afternoon preview today. Yeah, I got tickets for it back in November. Uh, very excited about it. I figured I'd document the journey because some of you have watched me for Eurovision-related content, and I figured let's take you behind the scenes of what it really is when you actually go to where they're hosting and what they're doing. So it's in Malmo today. Malmo is really close to Copenhagen. It's like a 40 minute train ride. So I will be going there. We'll go to the festival area beforehand. We'll see what's going on there. Uh, I will go inside. I'm gonna get ready to go as soon as 9.15. I have to check out my tent. Also one thing to note is that I'm actually in a capsule hostel. So it has like a door. <laughs> And then there's a light and ventilation and there's a little shelf for all my things. Here's a mirror. I'm here. It's me. And then we have all my stuff that I've put in here. So it's all locked and safe because they don't have lockers here as much, but it's been fun. It's been nice. It's more calming and feels a little more independent than a dorm. All right, I checked out my hostel. I went to the local 7-Eleven. It's all rainbow. So I'm really happy that it came out really proud of it. Here she is, isn't she cute? I got this. Um, I forgot what it was called. Killings Road, no, Killings Road, something like that. Killing Sped. I don't know Danish, I apologize. I've been taking German for the last year from my exchange program, but Danish doesn't really work with that as well. The Scandinavian languages are different, but uh, I had two of these total. I've already eaten one because it was so good. And so now I have to share the second one exists because it's delicious and get it whenever you can. The only other errand in Copenhagen itself is I'm actually gonna to go to the Lego store by Tivoli Gardens. I was in Tivoli all day yesterday. Maybe I'll insert some clips here. I'm now gonna to go to the Lego store because they have these customizable figures that come with like a box with your Lego brick with your name on it. I feel like, you know, it comes from Copenhagen. Let's enjoy it for what it is. It might be a little overpriced, but we'll have a nice little time with it. Got my Lego made. Now I'm on the train to Sweden. We will be going, I think, underwater at one point. So stay tuned for that. But right now we were before the Copenhagen airport, so we'll have that time later. Nothing clear, it's weird. much what it is. But yeah, we're underwater right now. And now we're above the water. Ah, uh, hi, I'm at the mall. I think it's named after my second phone, the German phone that I use when I've been here in Germany because it's the Emporia Mall. Not sponsored at all, but I got my merch. I have a CD because I love playing CDs in my car. And I also got a scarf, very excited about it. I have to find out where lockers are to deposit this guy because there's no bags allowed at the arena. So I think said it's only a walking distance away, which is great. But I'm gonna figure that out. Some of my snacks and then I will head into the arena. Bag dropped off, I got my wristband can't see it with my jacket and also oh you can there you go i'm just walking back to the venue I'm gonna get inside i don't know how much i can film of the show there might be like no recording at all but we'll see what i can do hi the music was too loud for you to hear me but basically this is the view from my seat it said restricted view on my ticket probably because of that big camera right there but yeah definitely still a great view and i was just sitting around waiting for everything to start I got some popcorn in this plot bar. I'm excited for the show. It's gonna start in about 30 minutes. Let's go. Meeting tonight for 10 places in the final. We also, new for this year, have three of the big five and Sweden. Sweden and UK and Germany, really. Woo! So they will need a full number today. That's new for this year, and then on semi final two, France, Italy, and Spain will do the same thing. The 12 points from the Netherlands go to... 93 points on the
hear the information shown on your screen right now. You can vote up to 20 times for whatever country you like, but you cannot vote for your own country. You can also vote by using the Eurovision app. C'est à vous de choisir vos candidats préférés. Votez par téléphone ou par SMS au numéro qui s'affiche à présent sur votre écran. Ou bien rendez-vous sur le site esc.vote. Les lignes téléphoniques seront ouvertes en quelques instants. Vous pouvez voter jusqu'à 20 fois pour le ou les pays de votre choix. That was incredible. I had an amazing time. I hope you guys did enjoy watching it. Uh, I'm wondering who actually takes out the semifinal. My favorites definitely are Croatia. Hey, editing Eric here. I just wanted to give a disclaimer that hey, this is about the performances that I saw during the afternoon preview of the first semifinal. I am editing this after the first semifinal has already come out. So yes, I put them in the ranking. Some of the ones that didn't qualify are higher on the list than the ones that did. I'm not dissing a country, a nationality, an identity as a nation. I'm not doing that with this ranking at all. It's also based on what I've experienced at the afternoon preview, which is not necessarily what happened at the actual show. I heard there were certain artists that who sounded a little different or off or maybe better during the actual live performance but during the preview, they might have sounded a different way. So this is based on how I experienced it and also not what was on the screen. It was just quite literally what was in person and from my angle. That is where I'm coming from with that. And also if I didn't get a clip of one of your favorite artists, it doesn't mean that I didn't like it. It might mean that it didn't look as compelling from the side or maybe copyright has come for me and it is no longer in the video. So that is all. I hope you all are pleased with the results so that we can move forward and back to your regularly scheduled programming. Here's a list of the performances as I rank them, as I saw them. This is before the first semifinal actually comes out. I'm sure this video will come out after that, but hopefully I can get it out to you guys before the grand final. So you guys have my thoughts about your vision pre the actual ceremony. Uh, though I am very excited, I'm going to definitely be watching the second semifinal and grand final back in Germany. So I'm excited, but yeah, I had a great, wonderful time and I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride.